Good morning and welcome back. You know, when building custom cars, everything is handmade, custom made, uh, laid out, built to fit, custom fit, um, and it takes a lot of time. You can't just go buy stuff off the shelf. One of those things is radiator hoses. And that's what this video is about. It's about building handmade, homemade, custom radiator hoses. And what I've found, these uh, Glacier Bay grab bars for showers and bathrooms and stuff. This is 304 stainless steel. Check this out. Zero four stainless steel is not magnetic, right? No sticky, no magnetic. And it even says it on here that it is three or four stainless steel somewhere. Um, but anyways, this stuff welds up perfect. So if you need to make, uh, and it comes with two 90 degree bins. Comes in, uh, I think, three or four different sizes, maybe only two, uh, but this is the one and a half inch size. And you can see they got 90 degree bends on it, two sides, um, and then this is the inch and a quarter. This is going to be my upper radiator hose, and this is going to be my lower radiator hose. So what you do is you go buy some normal radiator hoses with whatever you're going to need. I need two 90 degree bins. So I already cut this one in half. This is the lower one. I already cut it in half and I got the other half on the bottom of the radiator. This is going to go to the water pump and then I'm going to cut the ends off of this and save this. Like I cut this flange off and keep this bend. And then I got all this 36 inches uh, stainless tube to use. Now, if I needed to do pie cuts or angles and stuff like that, I can cut that out of this and make some pretty intricate hoses if I needed to, to go around stuff. This car is fairly simple uh, in the front. It's pretty straightforward. I don't need to do that. Uh, so let's get into it. One thing I forgot to mention is with these uh, Glacier Bay uh, mounting bars, I get them from Home Depot. Uh, this 18 inch one was 26 bucks <clears throat> or something like that. The 36 inch one was I think 36 bucks. So that's a dollar an inch. Uh, to me, that seems like a pretty fair price. Um, you can go use, go to Scrapyard and if you can get some stainless steel uh, tubing, that works just as well. You can order it off of Amazon. Um, for me, it's like an hour and a half drive to get my metal. Um, and like I, I can, could order this stuff off of Amazon, but Home Depot is right down the street. You know, I might have saved a couple bucks off of Amazon, but then I have to wait. Now I got it here. Just go down to the store, pick it up. And then you got it. So that's the only reason why I get it from Home Depot. It's because it's quick and easy and it's right here. So if you can see down here, I got my lower hose on and I'm going to put my upper or the other end on right here. And now I do not need that much. So I'm going to mark this and I'm going to trim this because I want more stainless steel than rubber hose. So you, I kind of like the, you know, having the rubber even. Uh, this case, I really can't because I have to have this come out further. I want it to come around these pulleys and that side has to come shallow because of this pulley and the inner fender well. So do duty, we're going to mark this and cut that. So I'm going to take a measurement of how long the, the leg is on the lower, on the radiator side. I'm going to take a measurement of how long this is 
and try and match it up on this side uh, from the bend. And then it'll probably come out to around in here or so. But that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, can't really hold the camera and measure that. So I'll just get it done real quick. All right, there's my mark, two and a half inches from the inside of the bend, over. Now, I use my porta band to cut this. It just seems like it works fairly easy. Uh, simple, quick, um, minimal mess. Okay, now both hoses are on and they're both all the way up, seated up against the end. Now I can, I'll be able to put hose clamps on both sides, but I got something different that's gonna go and seal up the uh, stainless steel and I'll show you that in a minute. But first we gotta get a measurement from here to here because that's how much uh, stainless steel we need and how much we gotta cut that pipe to be. So. Take a quick measurement. Let's say 19 inches, that gives me about an inch and a half of stainless steel pipe inside each tube. And then we'll uh, that'll be plenty to clamp it and seal it with these, uh, these seals that I'm gonna use, these uh, heat shrink clamps. So, Now we got to cut this off. I'm just going to cut it right here and give me plenty of room. I'm going to cut it long on the, um, I, I don't, I only need 19 inches and there's 36 here. So I'm going to cut my 90 degrees off at a little bit longer than right up that way i can use it later on I'm a dummy. I should have marked out 19 inches from here over and then just cut it and left that one longer. And I would have had two pieces instead of three. So now I need to take a measurement from here, 19 inches over, make a mark and then cut it. Uh -oh. Do you see it catch? That's why I always keep my hands. I get close, but my hands are never really in danger of being in that blade. All right, now that's cut off. So I'm going to go over to the mirror braid and clean up the edges and uh, deburr them. And then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, the outer edges are deburred and looking good. Now I need to deburr the inside. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try this little uh, deburring tool and see how it works on stainless steel. So if not, I'll use uh, a grinder. Works pretty good. Yeah. Ah, the bird not catching my finger. All right, now 
uh, we can put this in and make sure it fits. And then, uh, but I need to take it, take the, I need to take the hoses off and then, uh, put it on there and then put it in and get it set. And then we can, uh, mark it and seal it. See, so this hose, I made sure I went and bought one and a half inner diameter, not outer diameter, inner diameter, one and a half inch to fit around this uh, stainless steel pipe. I also made sure that the one and a half inch diameter was the exact size I needed for the radiator outlet and the water pump, the thermostat outlet. Okay, and there's our radiator hose. But you're gonna ask, how are you gonna seal that up? By these, these power grip, heat shrink uh, seals. Like these things are really, really cool. They, they shrink. Um, hope these are the right size. They shrink with heat. So I'm gonna heat them up with my heat gun and shrink them down. But then as this is a radiator line, it's gonna get hotter. It's just gonna make these uh, get tighter as it gets hotter. So they're constantly working. I put them on my Chevelle, they work amazing. Um, but you have to make sure you get it uh, shrunk all the way around. Just squeeze it to break the cardboard that's inside. Then they slide on like that. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be, I don't know if that's the right size. That might be a little big. Let me go grab the other one and see. Now these come in all different sizes. And I think I'm gonna need more of these ones. Yep. Yep, this is the size I need. The one and three quarter to two inch. The two to two and a quarter is too big. So I will have to order some more of these because I only have one. But that goes on there like that. Now the directions and everything, all the videos say you don't need to uh, wrap it over. You line it up with the edge of the hose and shrink it. On my Chevelle, I wrap it over a little bit and sealed it up uh, and it worked just fine. Um, the only reason I did it was for cosmetic looks to hide some of this, hide some of the hose and make it look a little bit cleaner. Uh, I'll probably do the same thing on this one, just because I like the look of it, but. Alrighty. See, there's, there's the lower. Pretty quick and easy. Now I just need to get, uh, order more of those things, like I said. And I can seal that one up, pull one on here, seal this up, and I can use hose clamps up here, or I can even put these things up here. You can do it on both sides. Uh, you can do the whole hose like that. There's no reason why you can't. It works out great. I see it on a lot of cars. Um, actually, that's what I did on a Chevelle. I'll show you that here in a minute so you can see one that's completely done uh, because I ain't gonna be able to finish this because I gotta order more of these things. Who knew? But 
while I'm waiting on that, I can still go ahead and do the uh, the upper hose. See, here's the hose that I bought. Again, two 90 degree bends. Um, and I will do the same exact process. I will cut the hose in half, measure it out, cut it how I want it, and then cut the stainless steel for this. And then I'm gonna have to order smaller clamps, uh, power grip clamps for this as well, because I don't have any that are that small either. So uh, that's how you make them. That's the process. Now I'll show you uh, some finished ones that are on the Chevelle. And All right, I finished both the radiator hoses on the 57. So here they are. Lower, upper. Like I said, I gotta order the heat shrink clamps and I'll get those off of Amazon um, and get them here in a few days and then I'll be able to seal these up and then they will leak check good. But they are one time use. So do not, if you use them, do not put them on your ends until you are completely done of putting the car together final time and you're ready to start driving it. I'm going to use hose clamps on my ends for right now and only seal up, use the heat heat shrink ones on around the stainless steel ends. That's it. The rest, the other, the other ends will get hose clamps and then at the very, very end when the car is finalized, all painted and put together, then I'll probably use the heat shrink clamps. Okay, now we're over at my Chevelle and you can see like these ones, it's a lot tighter in here. So uh, I had to be, had to do it a little differently. I got the thing over here. I got the uh, heat clamp right here on the radiator and the hose. And you can see, like I said, I wrapped this one halfway around it and it slid off a little bit over there but it still looks good both sides now the bottom the bottom was a little tricky you can see because it didn't have a whole lot of area to go to like it went down and under so this is actually welded right here i took uh the 90s and turned them and then welded them together right there they're welded right underneath there you can't see it but there's a weld right underneath there. And like I said, it's 304 stainless steel. It welds up perfect. Like I back purged it and did everything properly and it welded up and sealed up and like it fits so nice. And these hoses, like I said, super easy to do. They look really, really good. And it's reliable. Like it's not those those heat clamps. I was skeptical at first, but then I started seeing them on cars, and I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. And I'm super glad that I did. I think it turned out amazing, and I will use them on future builds as well. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, notifications button, and I'll catch you on the next one.